what's good everybody welcome back to the channel today and if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button smash that like button we are in Fort Worth Texas right now about to go see Sean cuts hair uh, do a look and learn down the street uh, I'm I live I think five hours five and a half hours according to uh, the iPhone maps that's how far I live in Amarillo Texas which is in the north uh, part of Texas so we drove down here I got here in a four and a half hours uh, but we're about to get to this class but before we go to the class I'm gonna go hit in and out my wife loves in and out so we're gonna go over there and get us some grub before we get to this class look I just flipped the switch posted at in and out gonna go to the drive through I really don't know what to order where they go double doubles I think so I remember <laughs> I haven't had in and out since 2000. When were we going through Dallas? And we had gotten on the way to- Last year. Last, since last year. Yeah. It seems like so long ago with all the COVID stuff going on. But I drove by the shop where it's the class is supposed to be at. It's a really nice shop. It's near downtown Fort Worth. It's uh, super modern. And um, can't wait to go see what the inside looks like. Yeah, but we're gonna get this food. Let you see what I'm about to munch on and then we'll get over to uh, the location. Just got the grub. This is what we're looking at right here. Looks delicious. Just got to the shop that the class is gonna be at. And this, um, where the class is at is also a barber supply place. It's Fort Worth Barber Supply. So shout out to them for having these, these clippers that I've been wanting. Um, so I'll, I'll let you get a sneak peek before I do the unboxing. But got the JRLs. They're very hard to come by, if you know. And um, I've been waiting to use these, so. We're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing on these sometime later this week. But without further ado, let's get to the class. So uh, that's an adjustment I'm gonna make. You guys see that C cup? We got a nice 
Nice curve. I didn't cut a whole bunch off. I can see the stub on that. We got we got a little bit on the side, just barely at the top. Um, but I'll tell you guys, just uh, myself, I definitely I have. I think every barbershop has it. You got the guys that show up early and work the hardest. You got some guys that don't take it that serious. You know, just like I don't know anybody sitting here, but um, we, we've had some success with all of my people. They all have different goals. Um, I don't know, Markel is with me. He's obviously one of the most, the, the more goal-driven guys. He maybe would be the guy to open his other shop, or, or my second shop, he would be the one running, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we've had some, some success with that. So if you guys have any questions about opening the shop, or how to get to that point, or, you know, I think that's awesome that you said, grow and go. Like that's, not many owners want that, right? Because you don't want more competition, but, I think it's cool you guys already have three locations and, and looking to keep rolling. And honestly, that's similar to what I, I have a goal to, hey, if he's gonna leave and open one, why don't we just open another one and grow the brand? And so I think that's super dope. Like I said, you guys look at be like brother brother barbershop stores. So um, yeah, you guys have any specific questions on business like that or clientele? What do you think you're, uh, <coughs> you need to do or deal with in a blueprint situation? As a, as a shop owner. Which, what was the first part of that? What do you think the toughest part is about that, that system? Um, definitely, no question. I got one answer to that question. Uh, it, it's just a fine line when you get barbers that are booth rent and feeling like I pay rent, I should be able to do whatever I want. Um, and my, my thing is, within reason, you can, but it's still my shop and I still have certain things at the end of the day that, you know, I understand you feel like you pay booth rent, you should be able to do whatever you want, but at my shop, this is the hours I need you here, or I need this many days out of you. Uh, and you know, everybody signed up for that when they when they started. So I don't have too much trouble with that, but that's definitely the line that we run into a lot. I and mean, I would say that's probably the most common thing. I know there's some shops that say, pay your booth rent. I don't care if you're here or not. Dre and I actually just had a conversation about the kind of in the, uh, to an academy the other night, we got on that topic about is it okay if they pay their roof rent if they're not there a whole week? Is that okay? Um, and, and for me, it's like if business is going out the door, then that's when uh, you know why why do we have ten chairs in this shop if nobody's here cutting hair? So there's a, there's kind of a fine line there. I like to I like to hold them accountable to a certain amount of hours, but everybody in this room became a barber to have some types of freedom, right? We want to be able to whatever it is, go out of town, be able to go on vacation, go to our kids' things, or, or whatever it is. Um, but I feel like it's fair as a shop owner to have certain things that are required. And uh, not, not required, but you know, there's, there's, there's things I expect of them. And, uh, as long as we communicate together and, and work as a team, which is what we're really working on building that back up is, is you know, when somebody doesn't show up, <laughs> I don't even remember who told me this. It was, it was on the, the live stream the other night, but you know, if somebody doesn't show up and then their client shows up, how do we look when we don't know where he's at? Um, so that doesn't help the team. What's your hiring process for like new new recruits? Lucky for me, it, it is kind of a smaller town. I knew most of the guys. I'm, there's only two barber schools anywhere close, so we kind of have a relationship with them. So I kind of have an idea of who I'm looking at before I hire them. I would really, the last guy I just hired, we sat down, I asked him what his goals were, why does he want to work in my shop? And, and a lot of those things lined up. I know Dre and them preaching the headlines in Tampa. You know, I'm, more, I, I'm less worried about, actually the guy I hired, the last line I was out of his mouth was that, he's like, I, gotta, I just want to be honest before you like, before we go any further, I'm not that good at cutting hair. Uh, I'd rather have that all day. I can't teach you, I can teach you how to cut hair. I can't teach you to come to work on time. Uh, and back to that question about that, that fine line, you know, the headaches are the people that can't come to work on time and want to, want to leave early and things. So if you're willing to put the work in, he said, man, I want to learn. I want to, I want to, if I'm not cutting, I'm going to stand by you and watch. And like, those are the things I'm looking for. So I'll teach, I told him, I will, anytime you need something, you got a question, like I will help you every single time or I'll get somebody to, uh, but that, that I can help. I can't help the other things. So I want people that want to learn. You don't, you don't want to have to be a, traveling educator to work in my shop. But I do want somebody that wants to come in and, and learn and get better and, and take pride in what they do and take care of their clients. And that's that's what our shop really is about more so than, you know, I hate I hate having this conversation kind of about the old school shop, but it's definitely a turn and burn, get whoever you want type of situation. And so I think having, you know, my shop especially is, is more like, find the barber that's good for you. We have different personalities, but we're all here and care about our clients and want to do a good job. and, and 
continue to get better to service our clients. So that's the most important thing for us. What's good, everybody? So you saw the class. Uh, Sean Cuts here did an amazing job teaching and everything, instructing. It was awesome to link up with uh, Sean, uh, Cuts by Coast, and Dre from the Tomb 45 uh, Tomb Squad. So it was just a dope experience to come down to Fort Worth and uh, just be able to go to that class. But right now, uh, we're filling up over here at a Texas Icon Bucky's. As you can see, gas station goes down all the way. We're not trying to build and do a big hit here in Texas. But I appreciate everybody who stuck through the video, stuck through this vlog. Uh, that was basically my day in Fort Worth today. So shout out to everybody who subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. I got more content coming. Like I said, I'll be doing an unboxing on the JRL Clippers sometime this week. So look look out for that. Also, we are nearing 2K. So we, I will be doing a 245 Power Mat uh, giveaway for that. But we got a lot more stuff coming out, a lot more content. Just stay tuned. But until next time, God bless.